Alright, what's up guys? Now, I know there's gonna probably be a lot of people coming after me after this video, but the thing is, is this. I really, 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 okay, when I mean really, it ain't just like a small little minor really, like, no, I really want this game to be successful. Because the thing is, is this. A game that I was a really big fan of is The Division. I played the crap out of The Division 1. I played the crap out of The Division 2. Um, from time to time, I'll go back and play those games. At least I'll play them on console because for some reason on PC, the game crashes and I don't know why. Um, but the day before, I would have to say, is the closest thing to having a game like the division but with zombies because that's something that i thought of numerous times for one and two that i'm like i don't know why these guys haven't added the zombies mode to this game and i think they did tease it at some point in time with the first one that they were going i remember they did like this video where they showcased all the content that was coming out to the division one and i think the one and only thing that they came out or no two things they came out with was that survival mode where you had to like fight with people in the snow and then um a mode where it was like i think you was on a train and you just go to random areas and just do random missions and things so the division one was good and i would have loved that game if it had zombies in it or at least a zombies um horde mode just something zombies related because i'm like i'm saying you cannot go wrong with zombies in a video game you finally get a game where it's like that but with zombies the thing that i don't like is that they made it like dark zone where it's like and it's this extraction shooter and i'm like look i get that if that's something that you guys was aiming for i know that's something that a lot of people would say that they didn't showcase it in the uh trailers but talking to the developers if that's something that you guys aim for it's like i think that's something that you should have asked the fans or at least like have people test out and i you know there's something where it's like i yeah you know you got it where people are kind of just testing out the game right now but i mean like a beta like a free like okay what do you guys like want to see that's what i mean like when developers just don't listen to the fans on stuff and i get that at the end of the day you know, it's your job. If people want to get into video game development, then yeah, they'll have to go through school and all that stuff. But it's like, you're putting this game out for the fans that you guys have been gathering up for years now. So it's something where I'm like, I think that a little boy, a little bit more of um, communication should have went, you know, back and forth with the fans, myself included, and the developers. Because, I don't get me wrong, like, what they got going on now more can be added all right that's one thing that i will say more that it can be added to this game and i you know would like to hope and think that the developers don't let this you know negative attention and you know feedback get to them and then they're like oh we're gonna abandon ship with this game no do not do that okay like i understand that things can get hard at times and bruh like just you know advice from a person that has been through like massive amounts of hate before yeah it's tough but it's like at the end of the day you have to you know keep going like if you got dreams and goals and stuff that you want to accomplish you can't just give up because a few people don't like it it ain't like it's everybody in the world don't like your guys's game it's like yeah it's just the fans that you gathered don't like it but i'm saying there's so many people across this world and my thing is is this it's never too late to get those um said fans back like if people truly want it to play this game yeah it's like yeah you're getting mad at it and it's nothing wrong with getting mad at it but at the end of the day the thing is is this though you have to understand that if you want to win these fans um over if you or at least win them back you got to put out a game that's worth playing and i look i i I'm going to support the game. I'm going to do my best to post content, post when they do updates, all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, stream the game. I want to overall show you guys that there are people out there that still do, you know, care about the game. And I genuinely feel bad for everything that you guys are going through. But at the same time, it's something that you have to expect when you say one thing and you show us one thing. And then, you know, when we're playing the game, we're getting a completely different thing. Yeah, that, that in a way, it is false advertisement. So I just think that... That, you know yeah it's like you guys just got to do the same thing that no man's sky batman arkham knight um what are some other there's another game uh um cyberpunk 2077 i'm saying like those games and yeah them games i remember when they came out and it was bad and i know what the, a lot of people will say yeah but with this game the day before is a little bit worse 
regardless it's like those guys had probably some of the most like worst rated games out there like i think all those games got overwhelmingly negative ratings and i think it even got to a point where uh steam was like hey if you guys want to get your money back we don't care how long you've played it we don't care how long you've owned it if you want your money back you very well could get your money back the thing is, is this there is other games and there is other things that i put aside so i can get this game and i can play it I believe in you guys, and I know that you guys can come out with something good, something that, yeah, it can be a, a good zombie game to the point where it leads into, because, yeah, this is just the first step, all right? Now you guys got to go through a bunch of other different steps, but it's like, you guys got to sit down and think about it. Like, and I, this, this is just, you know, me doing this video to just let the developers know, like, hey, people have been through some of the most worst things that you could possibly imagine, have they or have they not came out clean on the um, other side? I'm saying it's like, I and I know there's there's a movie unrelated to this, but it's a movie that you guys should watch where it's like this man, and it's a fictional movie too. And I, I know you guys are probably all like, why would you reference? There's so many different things you could have referenced. Why reference that movie? I'm referencing this movie because I'm like, I had to say, I, I think out of all the movies that I've seen, like this guy, he been through some crap. But then there's other movies out there like that. But the one movie that I can think of like right off of the top of my head where this man been through so much crap and came out clean on the other side the Shawshank Redemption I know you guys probably are like that's such a weird movie look bro I'm a movie fanatic I'll be sitting down watching my movies and stuff but now think about it this man was getting ready to, he no he was getting ready to serve the rest of his life in prison for murder not only on top of that he's having to deal with other prisoners that don't like him the guards don't like him the warden don't like him they're abusing their power they're doing everything that they possibly can in that movie to just paint themselves out as the bad people what happened at the end of for those that have seen that movie what happened at the end of that movie uh flip the warden flipped on the uh um the guards um, yeah, then it's like, and flipped on the other prisoners that, uh, you know, or overall got them caught up. Maybe I shouldn't use the word flip, because flip is like, people be thinking he snitched. No, so like, he, well, in a way he did, but at the end of the day, though, he got himself up out of prison, all right? That man moved to Mexico, Morgan Freeman was in Mexico, too. They were out there scrubbing boats and hugging each other and things. I'm saying, at the end of the day... I think you guys are like, yeah, this is like your first day in prison, you know? Y'all gonna have to, yeah, you guys gonna have to get, what was he using again? Like a, it was like a, um, like a, a art-like hammer or something like that. It was something, all right? But you guys are gonna have to start digging at that wall. And if it takes, how, how long did it take him in the movie? Like 15 years or something? I'm not saying that it's gonna take you guys that long. Like, yeah, in this case, it's a little different. It might take you guys a little bit less of a time. But overall, though... Yeah, y'all just gonna have to start, you know, digging at that wall, and then eventually, you know, that, and then once you get through that wall, then there's another step. Now you gotta bust your way through a, um, you know, a, a sewer pipe. You gonna have to climb through poop, pee, throw up, all that stuff. I'm not, not actually, but I'm just referencing the movie and stuff, but then you gonna have to climb through some other things. Put them final patches, now talking on the day before, put them final patches together, and then at some point in time, come out with a good game, all right? Currently, right now, got a little bit of some stuff going on, but at some point in time, I do think that the game can get better, all right? It's just, you guys just gonna have to not give up on it and stuff, so. But anyways, and that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and peace.